Hello guys, let's talk about the wide scan version 2 with the yellow light not blinking or your camera is bricked, same way, okay? So as you can see, I have it here with the yellow light. It's a steady yellow light. So the camera is not working at all. It's bricked, right? So what I have to do is just to reflash the camera, meaning install the firmware again. And for that, I have here an SD card, okay? Uh, micro SD card with an adapter. So let me just show you here. That's the one. And I'm gonna insert here, put it into my computer, get the new firmware, insert into the camera, just right here. There's a slot for this, just here. I insert the SD card here with the new firmware, and I'm gonna hold this button for some time so the camera knows that I'm trying to reflash it, right? So let me do this. Uh, right now, what I need to do is just get your card. Let me just insert it here with an adapter so I can see on my computer. Back here on my computer, I see the removable disk. That's my card and I need to download the firmware, okay? So here on Google, you can go to the Wisecam version 2 firmware. Just search that on Google. The first link here, release note a firmware, Wise. That's the one. You're gonna see the release notes and firmware webpage. Come down to the Wise firmware, look for cameras, and look for the Wise version 2. Be careful, there are a lot of them here. Don't confuse it with the Wise Cam Pen version 2. Here we go, Wise Cam version 2 firmware. Okay? In my case, version 2, just to make sure you go on your camera, you take a look here. On the bottom of the camera, you can see the version, okay? In my case here, version 2. Wise Cam V2. That's the one, 100% sure. And then I come to this link here, that's the latest firmware. There's a lot of them, depending on when you're watching this, you're gonna see a new one. For me, it's this one right now. I just click on it and it downloads to my download folder here. I just open it and double click to unzip, extract to a folder. Here we go. Then I get into the folder and I rename this file. Just right click, rename, and I'm gonna remove everything here after the demo, right? So I have demo.bin, that's the one. And I'm gonna copy this file to my removable disk. Just drag and drop. Just copying it. Here we go. Just make sure it's here and I'm ready to go. Let me just eject this and remove it from here, okay? Back here to my SD card, remove it from here. And here I have it, my micro SD card. Now I'm gonna turn off the camera. Let me just remove it here from power. Here we go. Insert the SD card here at the bottom of the camera. Here we go, you insert like this, facing the way. Just push it and we're ready to go, okay? Now it's important you need to hold this setup button before you plug the camera back. That's what I'm gonna do right now. And then you hold it like for three to five seconds on this camera, the version two. If you have the version one, you need to hold like for 10 to 15 seconds, a little bit more. I'm just try to hold here. Here we go, and then I'm gonna plug it, right? I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, and let it go. Oh, I think I didn't do it right. Let me just do it again. Sometimes you make a mistake and you can do it again, right? I'm just Remove it from here again. Click it. Here we go. 
one, two, three, and let it go. You see that changed the color there to blue? I just hold it for three seconds. You see that the first time I made a mistake and now I could hold the button correctly, right? And now you need to wait for the camera to be flashed. It takes a while, like uh, sometimes three to five minutes. So let's just put the camera here and wait. So I hear a click on the camera and I see the LED is blinking there, flashing blue. Sometimes I hear some clicks in the camera. Okay guys, the camera restarted and it's flashing blue like this and I could hear a click. And now the camera is not asking me for the setup or anything. So I would just turn it off and turn it on again and press the button for the initial setup, okay? Let me just remove from here. Here we go. I'll connect again and press here the setup button. Okay, so I got the message ready to connect. So I think we are good now. Let me just get my cell phone. Here we go. Move things around. And here I just need to add a new camera, add a new device. Ready to connect. Select camera, wise cam. Next. So I heard the message, ready to connect. Click next. Here, select my Wi-Fi. Let me just connect to this one. Click next. Ready to connect. Read the QR code. QR code scanned. Please wait. Okay, heard the message. QR code scanned. Next. And the camera is connecting. I selected my Wi-Fi extender to connect the camera to. If it, that doesn't work, I can connect directly to my router. Sometimes it doesn't work with Wi-Fi extenders. Completed. In this case, it just worked, right? Setup completed. Let me just name it anything here, like Office Can, for example. Click Continue. And just skip all the steps here, go directly to Finish. And it's done. Okay, so the camera is working. Pretty good. Now I have the steady LED here. Okay, so basically it's working right now. So to refle refresh your camera, you just need to do the steps, right? Just insert the SD card here, hold the button for some seconds, let it go, and the camera start refreshing, and it's ready to go, okay? So that's uh, the way you can solve your camera with this yellow light issue, right? When the, I have like the fixed yellow light or when the camera is bricked. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.